Okay, so we have local rigs, we have uh, ghost controls. Now we're gonna adjust a little la layer more that it's gonna be the ghost slider. Ooh. Again, this is um, a command that it's um, somewhere here, ghost slider. So we use a ghost control, a surface, and slider parent. So we already have created this ghost control in the previous video, but we're gonna repeat it here again. So we're gonna just create one. In this case, not gonna use any parent, just keep it there for the moment because we're gonna move it later. Uh, later, we're gonna create the ghost slider. So this is two steps. First, ghost control, later ghost slider. So we take the ghost, we need a surface. In this case, we're gonna use um, in our surface and the parent for the slider, you will see. So basically what it does is just create this ghost control, but the the um, the ghost control that it's the old one remember the ghost is the one that becomes uh i mean the old one is the one that becomes ghost instead of moving freely in the local it's gonna slide on top of the other surface and uh, let's i think it's again better an example than anything else so i have this original control here nothing fancy you can move it freely it's just control zero one you have the guy here nothing special and I build the rig and now I'm just gonna run this so I'm just gonna run it doesn't think like it changed a lot but look here on the parent slider we have this structure this goes here is our previous control and now the new control that is here this is one here and you can see here this is other structure so when we move you see the old the goals one now it's sliding on top of the sphere so we have the local we have the ghost and now we have ghost sliding what is useful that okay things on your face on your cheeks here on the mouth so when you create your facial rigging what do you want here you want your contrast to slide slide to create so you can create the skin cluster there and if the control is light, instead to use a screen, spring wrap or something more complex, in some situations, it's going to be good enough, not only to, let's say, if I move this here I'm on the side, you want to slide on top of your teeth or your skull or something. So this is very useful to create this kind of effects. It's very simple. You can see here you have everything ready and it, this is this sliding thing. So this is ghost slider. Okay, so we have another... 101, check, next one.